Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I wanted to do this video here to give you a quick update on um, the setup that I'm running in my Conversion Transit Connect van here. Uh, this is February 2018, so I haven't really done any updates, update videos, but I have uh, started a new hobby, which is the stand-up paddle boarding. So I made a few little changes to my setup, and I wanted to post them up in here. And this is going to be it, so let's go for a little walk. All right. So, um... Basically, as it sits right now, that right there, that right there is my stand-up paddle board. It's an inflatable board that I have folded up, and it's in its case right here. I have it sitting right here in the back of the van. Uh, cabinetry is still the same. Uh, one of the modifications that I actually made here recently is to the hose that I'm using for the shower setup here, or, or the rinse off setup. So previously, I was using this stainless steel line for my shower hose, and this worked really great. No leaks at all, really tough. Uh, but the length was just, just like a foot too short for me to uh, be able to comfortably rinse my bike off and get it out here. So what I did was I went to um, went to my hardware store here and I purchased this this hose that they use for uh, washing machines. It's a high pressure line hose and as you can see uh, it's, it's definitely definitely longer than that stainless line that I was running and it's approximately a foot to a foot and a half longer, which I, I really like. I want to have this extra length, so when I have my bike back here, I can rinse it off real easy. It's not too long, it's not too short, so I think this is going to be pretty good right here. And uh, I had to purchase a special fitting here, a brass fitting for this uh, connector. And in here, just another little just another little fitting right here to clamp onto my hose, no problem. Still powering this guy with a uh, with this 3200 MAH 3S pack with my XT60 connector. Uh, I try to keep this thing topped off because I'm also using this to rinse off my uh, my gear on this stand-up paddle board. Like after I go paddling in the uh, So like after I go paddling, I also use this to rinse off my paddle board. If I get a little bit of dirt or grass or something on it, rinse it off real quick, let it air dry, roll her up, put her back inside the bag. I also use it on the mountain bike too. I mean, sometimes I'm lazy when I get home and I don't wanna break out the hose from the backyard or something like that. Just pull this sucker out, rinse the bike off real fast, get her out of here nice and quick. So this just rolls right up right here. The other, the other thing that I like is um, I like this, this black rubber a lot better than the stainless. The stainless steel is like, um, it's kind of rough on the outside. It's got these sharp edges and it's not really sharp enough to cut you, but moving it in and out of my cabinet here. I just think it rubs and stuff every time when I'm pulling it in and out. It's kind of kind of a hassle, it's kind of inconvenient. So I went with this little rubber hose and the rubber seems to be working working much better for this setup. And I'd imagine if I, if I wanted to add any length to this, I could always just purchase this type of um, tubing and then uh, just, just buy the fittings and just screw the fittings right on. It'll work fine. Now, um, that's the board 
this is a connection I have for my ARB fridge. If I ever want to have my 50 quart fridge freezer in here when I travel, I just plug it right into here, plug in my, and then basically, um, how did I do this? Yeah, I put a, uh, a trailer wire, a trailer wire harness plug end on the other side here so all I have to do is plug it right into my little trailer harness there and there you go you'll know, have 12 volts DC right there for my uh, for my fridge if I ever need it now one thing to keep in mind here also is I do have a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter here and I also have one up there on the center console right in the bottom there and according to the user's manual for this van they're both rated at 15, 15 amps I'll keep that in mind so now moving over here to my <clears throat> So this cabinet here now I'm I'm using this thing right here so here's what I got going on in here now this right here is a West Marine 12 volt air compressor this right here is my US Coast Guard approved type 3 inflatable vest uh, the waistband type that you can use to keep yourself legal on waters this right here is the manual this is the manual pump for the subboard That's what comes with the board. That and this hose right here. So that's a backup. That's my little backup there in case my 12 volt electric pump doesn't want to pump it up. But this thing, I'm going to show you this setup here shortly and show you how awesome this is. This is a backup that I'm keeping that I have room for, so I'm keeping it in here uh, just in case I need to manually pump this thing, which I probably won't ever do. Now, um, let me put this uh, camera up here. Let's see if I can get a good angle. Okay. Um, first aid kit. This is a pillow that rolls into itself. This is a small little duffel bag where I keep jumper cables, um, little tar strips for patching tires, a tire hull, electrical tape, zip ties, duct tape, flares, <clears throat> rubber bungees, and some fix-a-flat. Just basically like a emergency roadside kit. Matter of fact, I could probably just put this first aid kit in there too. This is just a bag. So, with all this stuff in here, which fits pretty much perfectly in here. Put this in here too, and my air pump fits in there. So, underneath my passenger seat here, there's a little hidden compartment where I'm keeping this. This is a canvas bag. Now, inside this canvas bag. a Turnigy B4 LiPo battery charger 
with a custom harness that I made here with an XT60 connector. Uh, this is a 5 amp rated cigarette lighter adapter with a, I believe this is a 2.1 millimeter barrel plug. This is the sa uh, same plug that came with this charger. It's a DC 11 to 18 volt uh, plug. Uh, this is a harness that I made here. And this is the Hobby King USB charger 2 to 6S LiPo to USB uh, charger. So, <clears throat> this guy right here you can get on Hobby King for $12.73. It's a 4 amp, basically a 4 amp trickle charger for LiPo packs. And this right here you can get off Hobby King for eight dollars and forty eight cents and you can use any lipo pack from 2S to 6S plug it right in and you got a USB port right there so you can charge your GoPro or your cell phone or whatever so why do I have all this stuff here now my little um, water tank here I'm, I'm using a 3S lipo pack to power that 12 volt DC motor so I can run my water. Now, I can use this to trickle charge that battery if I was ever in a bind or if I need, if I felt like I needed to, to charge that battery up. I can use this to charge it through my car's cigarette lighter output port with this. So all I'd have to do is plug that in and take this, plug it right into my cigarette lighter ports and then I essentially have a, a trickle charger and this thing will output 4 amps max so I'm safe to use it on that pack and, I'm, and also I primarily got this for my pump here my air pump so this is the West Marine 12 volt air pump that I'm using here that's it right there. Go up to 15 psi. It comes with the with the hose for the step board right here. Screws right on. This goes right into the step board. Lock her in. And the way I'm powering this is with this badass little battery right here. This is a multi-star. 3S 5200 amp milliamp hour light bulb pack that I got in Hobby King for $29 and um, I got my XT60 on there and what I did was I modified the plug that came out on this air pump right here because I got some wonky plug here that comes with it I don't even know what type of type of plug this is it's like a it's like a really large um, spade terminal, like an oversized spade terminal inside the plug. And you can't even buy these at West Marine. So I modified this plug because originally as this pump comes, when you buy it, it has these alligator clips, which, I mean, they're just wonky and stupid. I mean. You, you could use these for like plugging onto your car's battery to power this thing, but that's just a big pain in the butt. So I cut this thing off and I put an XT60 on it just in case if I needed it for an emergency, which I'm, I'm not going to. And I basically put an XT60 on this so I could power it with my LiPo pack. So I just plugged my LiPo right in. There you go. <laughs> Uh, man, this little this little light bulb pack is awesome. It it will run this it will run this uh, little air pump and fill up my my stuff board in seven minutes flat, uh, right up to 15 psi. Uh, this air pump draws a maximum of 20 amps. This is a 10C discharge rating rated uh, light bulb pack, so. 
I can I can pull 52 amps with this battery easy and so the the 20 amps max that this thing's pulling it's, it's, it's a it's no problem for this lipo so uh, I've already used it probably three or four times um, plug that sucker in fill up my sup board unplug it I've actually checked the voltage on this pack too and it doesn't even it only draws the cells down to like 3.8 to 3.9 volts coming down from 4.2 volts per cell so it doesn't even use up I'd say half the capacity probably uses less than half the capacity to fill this thing up but uh, for for the safe side I would probably go I would probably fill this uh, fill up two boards with this one pack um, on one charge but it works so it's good I can keep it nice and compact with that light bone there and that's the pump right there now I picked up this little 4 amp charger from Hobby King to be able to um, top this little battery off so let's say I'm out paddling with my board I've already aired it up I've already sucked a little bit of juice out of this battery I go do my paddle boarding I come back let's say I need to deflate the board and rinse off and then either leave or go to a different spot that's when I would take this battery plug this in and then let it charge uh, through the car's battery with the car on obviously so it, the alternator keeps the battery charged but uh, this is only going to pull 4 amps so these cigarette plugs are rated at 15 amps so it's it's not going to pull too, too much juice it's not going to overload any circuits it's not going to burn out any fuses so uh, it works I've tested it and it's, it's awesome um, so while I was on the Hobby King website ordering this charger for my air pump I also knew that they made these little guys right here, these little USB chargers, and you can get these for like less than nine bucks. They got them in stock in the US. So what this is, I can take my battery right here, plug it right in, and now I got a voltage monitor right there that shows me all the voltage of the cells, and I got my USB output, which puts out, I wanna say it's gonna be a maximum, yeah, it's one amp one amp output on the 5 volt side here so if I need to charge my phone, GoPro, anything just do it right off of the balance plug on here and basically I'm set with, with this this charger right here um, I can and my XT60 is on everything I can I can top everything off uh, right through the car's battery and I'll be perfectly fine uh, so that's the that's the that's the setup I'm going with, and uh, just wanted to give you guys an update. <laughs> Tell you how everything was going. So uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna plug this into my cigarette lighter here and show you how it works. All right, so here's my battery that I need to charge. Here's the little charger, my little plug that I made. Plug that in there. Plug this in right here, and then plug my balance port right there. There you go. 3S pack, and we're charging. The one thing that this doesn't do, which I kind of wish it do did, would would be actually to show the the uh, the voltage is there that would be cool but you know it's no big deal this is this is one of those things where you set it and forget it plug her in now I would go turn my car on and drive and that would be a wrap uh, another thing that I carry with me uh, this is just a little stick that I use to check the check the voltages. So let's say I'm done charging. I can just always plug this in here. And I got my my voltages right there. So that's it.
Hope you guys enjoyed the updates with the van, and uh, that's going to be a wrap for this one. If I come up with any changes, I'll post up a video. Catch y'all later.